Hello and welcome, guys. Thank you for joining me again for another night of Facebook Live. I also want to uh, recognize those that catch me on the replay from YouTube and or SoundCloud. I am your host, and Tricia Bray Smith, author, educator, and public speaker. It is indeed a blessing to be here with you tonight. And I hope that you guys have had a day full of joy, laughter, and love. I am here today, tonight, and we're going to talk about the honeymoon phase. We are going to talk about the honeymoon phase, guys. And it may not be as you uh, think or as you first perceive it uh, with the topic tonight. But uh, I just want to give some encouragement for those of us that who may be going through a difficult time. Uh, so, as you guys are logging on tonight to be with me, would you please do me a favor and like and share this video. Like and share this video so that others on your timeline can be blessed uh, through our discussion tonight. And also, so that we can keep this video circulating so it can get... Uh, in front of people that can really benefit that may not be uh, connected to me and on my timeline. So tonight, guys, as you know, we are talking about the honeymoon phase. And this not only uh, relates to our relationships or uh, the people that we are connected to uh, intimately, but it is in every aspect of our life even through our careers and just everything that uh, is connected to us. So, like and share this video, uh, but I do want to offer this resource for you in the event that uh, you find that you'd like to uh, uh, improve your relationships and, and how you're interacting with others. Let me offer you this book to you. Uh, my first book, Recreating a Better Me, has several chapters that will help you in understanding uh, relationships and also just uh, overall self-perception of yourself so that it can help you through problematic er areas or challenging areas in your life. What this book does is, is a, acts as a guide to help guide you step by step by asking you the tough questions so that you can get a good overall reflection of yourself and your thoughts and how your experiences affect the different areas in your life. So I want to let me offer that resource uh, to you. You can find that by clicking on the link there I left in the comment section on my website and go to books and resources tab and you can find my books there but recreating a better me would be a good resource for you if you find yourself in a relationship or in a life cycle of challenging situations where you may feel stuck so tonight we're talking about the honeymoon phase and the reason why I wanted to address this topic is because we all know that uh, in life we're going to have some challenging times there are going to be some challenging times in our life and not only that when crisis come those things that we no longer have control over when those things come in our life it heightens those challenging areas that we already struggle with. So whether it's mental health or whether it was uh, is a relationship that was already on the rocks or whether it was a career to where you were already feeling stuck and now uh, you're impacted through the crisis and other things that are going on, then we know that uh, these things can uh, seem bigger than what they are. In other words, uh, when crisis hit, it makes our small situation now seems like uh, we're fighting against uh, a mountain. Uh, 
So, so we're now faced up against a mountain of things. So, um, this is what uh, I want to bring to you tonight to hopefully give you hope and hopefully that you are encouraged to not throw in the towel now. Because, guys, we know it's hard. We know that uh, people all over the world are dealing with uh, challenging times and they're facing challenging situations. But, guys, let me just encourage you to uh, don't throw in the towel just yet. The honeymoon phases of our life or those places in our life to where everything is going good. We're happy. Uh, it's, it's a great moment. We're at the beginning of something new. We're at the beginning of something great. We're happy. We're smiling. We're full of joy. We're passionate. That is the honeymoon phase of our life, you know? And I, I just think about... A, a, a couple getting married and and just beginning to share their lives together and how exciting it is to think about the wedding and the event where all the family and friends are coming together to come and celebrate us and how uh, we look at our mate with just all the joy and the love you know, that, that is the honeymoon phase. We look forward to spending that happily ever after uh, together. But did you know that those times are great? They're great times. But we can't always live in that honeymoon phase. There's going to come a time where the rain is going to come. There's going to come a time where the drought is going to come. There's going to come a time where the winds are going to blow. And it's going to impact how we perceive the phase in which we're in. And there are people now that this crisis has poured down so much rain and so many winds and so many storms back to back that they're just ready to give up and they're just ready to throw in the towel. And I want to challenge you tonight to hold on and don't throw in the towel yet. Think about how you felt when you entered that situation. Think of how you felt when you met that man or that woman. Think about the vows that we made. Think about when we first got that job. What a blessing that uh, we said that it was. Think about when we first held that child. And what joy they brought to our hearts. Think about the good times. And focus on that. It's not gone anywhere. There is nothing that we can get in that's so deep. That our creator can't just breathe on or can't just speak a word on that resuscitates and puts that life back into that thing that we feel like we missing or that we feel like it's dead. I know that a lot of marriages are, are on the rocks and I've heard several people with the news that are saying that they're ready to throw in the towel, that they're ready to give up. But I want to encourage you that these things are going to come. Anytime you have two people coming together as one, 
there's going to be disagreements. There's going to be uh, situations that uh, we can't always find uh, a simple solution for or or to come to uh, a resolution on, on something, you know? And, and that's okay. We don't have to always agree on everything. But we shouldn't allow the tough times to dictate the rest of our lives. Because whether you are with your mate, whether you are alone, whether you on that job, whether you are uh, for your child or against him, difficult times are going to come. Challenging times are going to knock on our door no matter what. And so we have to think of ways for resolution. And what I find is that when that tough time hit or when our spouse mess up or when that child just don't do what we want them to do or when this job uh, just won't listen to me and I know more than what they know, that we want to give it all up. We, we want to find a reason to walk out when that business is not bringing in the money that uh, we feel like it ought to bring in we want to just throw it all away but what would happen if your creator threw in the towel and said there was no hope for you how would you feel if you did the best you could and the best you could you were always put down how would you feel if you um gave all you had to a job and then they came in and said well we no longer want you or need you need what you have that is a hurtful place to be. When in the honeymoon phase, it's all good. We needed one another. We, we love one another. Nothing that uh, we could do was wrong. We can't forget that the same thing and that same feelings and those same words that we spoke in the honeymoon phase, sometimes it's a reminder that even through the storms, we have to go back and be reminded of those things that we spoke and that we done in the honeymoon phase. Some of us on our jobs We've overcome that honeymoon phase and we're in challenging times. And we know that we haven't been giving it our best. We know that we've gotten so comfortable in the positions that we are in that uh, we're taking it for granted. And it's no different than our relationships. There are some wives that begin over time begin to take their spouse for granted. They no longer have anything good or positive to say. They're critical on everything. We forget to tell the people that we love how much we love them and how much they mean to us and how important they are to our lives. And in our relationships with our kids, some of us forget to just tell them that we are proud of them. And, and maybe it seems like uh, they're not doing 11 things right. But there's one thing that they are doing right. They're getting up every day and they're pressing through whatever issues that they have. So did you know that 
the honeymoon phase, you know why it's there in the beginning? Because in the beginning, hey Trina, how are you baby? In the beginning, that's setting the foundation. That's helping us really to understand what it is to love and respect one another beyond our faults. But somehow when the storms begin to come and the distractions come and the winds blow, somehow we forget that. We forget that love. We forget that respect. We forget that appreciation for one another. So I encourage you guys to think back on that honeymoon phase. Don't give up on your spouse. Don't give up on that job or that career or that business. Don't, for, don't give up on that child just because things have now shown itself to be so challenging. Because those challenging comes, those challenging times comes, they, they come to help develop us. And not only that, things hit us so hard that you know that sometimes we're dealing with things and it's not even for us. Did you know I've had to bite my tongue and I've had to remain silent and I've had to remain non-reactive and I've had to speak positive words in some of the most challenging situations of my life. And when I look on it now, I realized that, you know, it wasn't even for me. It was for the other person. It was for the person on that job. It was for my child. It was for my spouse. Because in a world where we are so unloving and we are so unkind to one another, we don't know the impact of what our words and our unconditional love will have on those that are closest to us. So we have to be mindful. Hello, Wanda. How are you? It's glad to see, glad to have you with me. We have to be reminded that that foundation that we built when we accepted that job, when we gave birth to our children, when we uh, married that spouse, love of our life, our spouse, we have to remember what that foundation was built on. And we have to take a good long look at ourselves and question where are we in this trying time? Where are we in this crisis? And how does it compare to when we first started? I know that we don't always do things right. But I said something earlier. I said, you know, the love and respect we have, it covers all those faults. It covers all those disappointments. Did you know when uh, that baby was uh, born and you held that baby in your arms? We couldn't find no fault in that baby. And I don't care how much that baby cried and demanded to eat when it wanted to eat and de demanded to be changed when uh, they were wet or dirty. We looked at that baby through unconditional eyes of love and compassion. That's the honeymoon phase. And now they're grown up. And now they don't do everything the way we think that they ought to do. They don't say everything the way we think they ought to say. They don't go to places we feel like they ought to go. And it's a challenging time. And yet we can find ourselves speaking words that do more harm than good because we're frustrated and we're ready to throw in the towel 
and we're ready to give up on a child that is trying to find his or her way in life. And yes, they're going to make mistakes along the way. Yes, it's going to be trial and error. But think back. That's that same baby girl or that's that same baby boy that we held all those years ago and couldn't see no fault in. What happened to the honeymoon phase? What happened if uh, that spouse that we love so much and we just couldn't live without. What happened to those eyes of love and that heart of compassion that we used to have for them? What happened to uh, making sure he had a hot meal to eat? What happened to make sure we asked when he walks through the door how his day has been? What happened when uh, we we just wanted to make sure that uh, everything was all right and that whatever went on through that day, now that he's home, everything is so much better. He can sit down in peace. He could have uh, kind words or a decent conversation or his feet rubbed or his bath water ran. What happened to that? Guys, sometimes we can get so caught up in the storm blowing our way that we forget all about that. We forget about the kind words. We forget about the respect. So we have to get back to that honeymoon phase in our lives. Because yes, it seems hard. Yes, it seems like it's not going to get any better. Yes, it seems like uh, we're beating up a, uh, against a, a, a brick wall sometimes. Yes, it seems like our words aren't being heard. But did you know that because you are who you are and because you live a life with purpose, you may be the only one to be able to reach and pull them through those difficult times. So being that it seems so hard, it may be your kind word that one day eventually just makes the light come on or one day just eventually makes that someone that's watching you see life in a whole new perspective. Tough times are gonna come But just because they come doesn't mean it's an exit time. Doesn't mean it's time to throw in the towel. Doesn't mean it's time to give up. That is a time more than ever that we need to take a look at ourselves and ask ourselves the question, are we doing all that we can do? And take a look back at the foundation for which Whatever it is that you're dealing with was built on. If it was built on love, if it was built on respect, if it was built on appreciation, if it was built on kindness, whatever it was built on, take a look at it. Evaluate yourself and ask yourself the question, am I the reason? Am I the one? Have I taken the situation for granted? Have I not spoken the words that uh, need to be spoken? Is it my perception? Is it my mindset? But whatever it is, let me encourage you as you're going through a difficult time or as you are in challenging places with your uh, loved ones, or with your families, or on your jobs, in your careers, in your business, let me encourage you to not throw in the towel yet. Let's try to get back to the honeymoon phase. Let's try to get back to love. 
Let's try to get back to respect. Let's try to get back to kindness. Because we got enough of all this other stuff in the world. We got enough manipulation out there. We have enough things trying to control our minds. We have enough things trying to get our time. What have you taken for granted? Have we taken our kids for granted? Have we taken our spouses for granted? And did you know that if we can give kindness and respect and love and, and, and take a moment to, 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 to just sit in it, did you know that our actions or our reactions to the people around us can shift it all. So if I'm nagging and fighting with the kids, if I'm nagging and fighting with my uh, spouse, if I'm nagging and fighting with the people on my job, do y'all see the common denominator there? It's possibly me. If everywhere I go there's an issue, if every time I sit down and have a conversation, it results in an argument or a disagreement, then I'm the one that I have to take a look at. Because people are in our lives for a reason. Most of them come in our lives for a season. And we have to evaluate, are we really doing all we can do to make positive impacts into those lives of those people around us, of those people that were sent to our lives? I know that I was sitting and I just had some thoughts. You know how you see something that reminds you of something else and you just have those preconceived thoughts, prejudiced thoughts, as it were not to a particular color or anything like that, but just people that you see or that you meet and then you automatically judge as a result of not even knowing who they are. Just because they reminded you of somebody else. And so you get those little selfish thoughts or those little um, snotty. I call it snotty in the, the way I feel. I call it like a snod. You know, you, you get to thinking like that. And then I had to come to myself, you know. You know, you can't um, be that way to people. You had an opportunity to make a difference in somebody's life. And, and every day, I want to be more careful on how I see people, how I impact their lives, how I encounter with my children, how I encounter with my spouse, how I encounter with other children, other other uh, workers, my co-workers, that's important to me. And when I feel those challenging times and those storms beginning to surface and stir up, I want to get myself in a place to where I can meditate and to where I can really be careful to go back and think back into that honeymoon phase of the relationship and to be sure that when I'm speaking, I'm speaking love, I'm speaking kindness, I'm speaking that respect, and that I'm not too quick to judge or to throw in the towel on something that I once believed was a blessing or someone who I believe is a blessing in my life. Kimmy, I sure hope so, honey. I sure hope so because, you know, it's tough out here. 
This is a tough, mean world, guys. Tough, mean old world. And yeah, we're going to get frustrated. Yeah, we want to see our kids do good. Yeah, we want to feel like we're appreciated by our spouse. But at the same time, guys, just like we go through things, they go through things, and it gets tough. And sometimes we have to be the one to make that ultimate sacrifice. To speak life to situations that appear dead. And did you know that if things are dead, if we are connected to life, then we can be the ones to help resurrect that situation. We can help be the one to resurrect that relationship. And we can be the ones to resurrect uh, the dried up things around us. Because if we are life, then nothing dead around us is going to remain that way. And how do you know if you are life and that you have that resurrected power? You know it when you can think positive thoughts. You know it when you can sacrifice what you really feel and what you really want to say to say something positive. And you know it when you have a heart of love and compassion without any ulterior motives. That's how you know you're connected. So in spite of it all, guys, I encourage you to think back even if it takes going and grabbing those pictures where you have to go back and look at those pictures of, of, of the time when you were happiest. At the time when you felt that joy. At the time when you started that relationship. At the time when uh, you held that baby for the first time. At the time when you were telling everybody what a blessing that job was for you. Go back and look on those things. It's, it's okay to have a reminder. It's okay, okay to go in uh, and tell that spouse you love them. It's okay to grab those grown kids and hug them and tell them you love them and tell them that you're proud of them. Did you know that sometimes that's all it takes? It's getting outside ourselves, getting outside ourselves and, and, and sacrificing that time. Because it's okay to think a thing. But it's even better to say it and speak it into the atmosphere. Because we're quick to say those things that we don't like or those negative things, or quick to be frustrated and, 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 and even when we don't say nothing, walk around with attitudes and then make like everything okay, or being short with them. But it's, it's so much more rewarding when we can look beyond all that and really take a long look at ourselves and ask ourselves the question, have I given up on the honeymoon phase? Have I looked so deep into my frustrations that uh, I'm just ready to throw in the towel and not even give it a, a, a chance? Because I don't believe that we have been blessed with anything that is so far gone that it can't be resurrected. But that resurrection begins with us. Rethinking it. Respeaking it. And going back to the foundation for which it was given. I appreciate you guys joining me tonight. And as a reminder, um, I encourage you guys, if you're having trouble in relationships, if you're having 
a challenge in time and you're just ready to throw in the towel, I encourage you to get my book, Recreating a Better Me. It's about taking a good long look at ourselves and understanding our thoughts and understanding how our thoughts impact our life, impact our decisions in life, and how we just view life in its entire perspective. So I encourage you that if you're going through a difficult time, it does not mean that it is time to throw in the towel. It just means that we may just need a little more help getting through the challenging times that we face. We may need a little more time to think back and to be reminded of that honeymoon phase in our lives because we can get that again. As long as we wake up every day with breath in our body and a mind that is willing to learn and to absorb and to just be immersed with a new thing, we can get there. There's hope. It's n difficult times. That means that it's time to throw in the towel. It may just mean that we are developing and expanding and scratching to a new level, a new level in how to love, a new level in not being so judgmental when it comes to our children and our spouses, a new level in learning how not to take things so for granted in life. So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I appreciate all of you who have uh, left comments for me and let me know that you are here. And if you need uh, to take a look, grab this resource right here, Recreating a Better Me. If you're here uh, in Hugo, you can pick up a copy from me. I have, them at, <laughs> I have a few at home. And I also uh, will be getting a few of Struggling to Forgive at home here next week sometime so uh, feel free to uh, find me and get your copy otherwise go to my website it's there in the comment section at www.entriciabraysmith.weebly.com go to the books and resources tab and order you a book of your choice it'll, it'll help you and, and, and you can do it in the safety of your own home no one would ever have to judge you and I help guide you step by step in asking yourself the hard questions. And you do the work and be able to see how to overcome and resurrect the difficult places in your life. I appreciate you guys being here with me tonight. I hope that I've said something tonight to encourage you to take a look at your situation and to encourage you to hold on just a little while longer and don't Throw in the towel just yet. Don't give up just yet. Let's look back at the honeymoon phase and let's find resolutions for the issues that we deal with and that we are faced with. Because I don't believe we'd be faced with it if there was no hope. And you are the hope. So hang in there, guys. I love you guys. I am your host, and Trisha Bray Smith. I'll meet you right back here tomorrow night at 10 o'clock p.m. Good night, everybody.